This is Krizan Janse van Veren. I'm outside the Magistrates Court in Grafrinet, speaking to Anele Ngoyo, the chairperson of the Grafrinet Community Police Forum, who has been leading a protest here today against the, the bail application for Numpelo Maloy and Luazi Kay. They've just appeared before court. So, Mr. Ngoya, how, how do you feel about the proceedings of today? And why exactly are you opposed to them being granted bail? Um, thanks a lot, um, Kristen, for you. My greetings to your viewers as well. The, the purpose of us uh, opposing the bail is that we, we find the, the act in itself is wrong for someone to, to orchestrate a, a serious case of that nature. And with that serious case, that is also resulting to an issue that we are facing here at, uh, at Dr. Payosnet there, which is the South Club uh, Renet Police Station, which is the, the resources of the police themselves if one needs to uh, investigate for a serious case of this nature where someone has plotted against his family relative and yet uh, made provision to get someone higher so that that person can be killed that person there's a section 205 that you need to apply for uh, right now you need to apply from to port elizabeth to organize crime unit which is, takes longer Hence, even the court itself, it says that the, the investigation is still pending. So we are opposing the bail because of the grievance that the community is experiencing because we've lost one of our members that was innocent in the situation where he didn't do anything. But because of the people that saw opportunity to put in a policy with the hope of assisting him, but all to find out is just for uh, for financial liberty for themselves. And we are against that fact because this thing leads us then to a case where if Lua Zike didn't say anything about what was happening or the orchestration that Nompello did, and then it would have mean that this case was going to be a cold case just like any others. The case of Mvusi Diamonds, the case of... of Mr. Sweli, even the case of Paul Somazanzana, Akushi, uh, Akona Jankis, the case of uh, Slum Koko, those are cold cases. None, there's no trace or so forth to that case, it's simply because of there's no thorough investigation to as of what's happening. And now we are saying.